and welcome to The Doe Show for Wednesday, October 3rd, 2018. I'm Ferris Fair. And I'm Bambi Dextrous, and we have another really great episode for you today. We hope so! On Saturday, the Imperial Sovereign Court of the Wild Rose, ISCWR, and Reign 43 presented Investiture 2018. New Empress Morgan Fair and Emperor David Dragon put on the evening, uh, hosted by Vanity Fair, and uh, yeah, they put up some new candidates for the positions of Prince and Princess. Yay! Yay. Uh, running for Imperial Crown Princess was Sister Mary Clarence, who uh, did a great number, I Will Survive, and looked absolutely stunning. Like, her drag was just, it was very gorgeous. She looked, I don't know. Uh, Mary, you stepped up your game and it looked absolutely stunning. Good job, girl. Um, running for Prince was Angelo Mercy and Chris DeBear, and uh, both of them put on a number, and, and uh, fantastic job to both of them. At the end of the evening, only one can win, and so uh, the winner of Princess was Sister Mary Clarence, she was successful, and the winner of Prince for the year was Angelo Mercy. Yay! So congratulations to both of them on working with the Emperor and Empress, but the Upper House isn't done yet because they also uh, had Rexy Resurrection as the new Duchess and Chris DeBear is the new Duke. So the Upper House for Reign 43 is complete. Congratulations to all six of them and it's going to be a great year. We look forward to working with you. However, the show was still a show. It wasn't just oh, yeah. an election. Uh, lucky for us, the hostess of the evening, Vanity Fair, also performed and did a fantastic version of A New York State of Mind. Mm -hmm. um, banged it out as always and she just looked just gorgeous. It was just stunning. Um, the person to the immediate left to me also performed that evening, Bambi Dextrous, performed Timber! And it was fun. Uh, it was a Disney radio friendly <laughs> version, shall we say, uh, and good job on that. Um, little side secret, Bambi got home from work and within an hour had eaten supper, painted her face, fixed her wig, found her number, edited the number, put it on a stick, and got out the door to be a part of that show. So, banged it out. And, and it, was a, it was a really fun number, so congratulations to that as well. Thank you. Um, your sister wife? Yeah, Rexy. Earlier in the evening, your sister wife, anyway. Yeah. Uh, Rexy Resurrection also performed and did a really great version of uh, Can't Get You Out of My Head by Kylie Minogue which we all know is blocked on YouTube, as oh. usual. So, uh, for those of you yeah. that were there to see it, you got to see Rexy in all of her storm gloriousness. That's what I thought she looked like, anyway. Whenever they've got like that winged cape, I just assume they're storm. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, it was great. So, uh, congratulations to Rexy on that. Um, I also would be remiss if I did not mention two things. Uh, Emperor David Dragon performed The Rose, and there was some mild technical difficulties with this music, but good on him, he did his best to continue on, and, and you know what I mean, he, he tripped yeah. on. So good job, David, and I, it was really unfortunate that your first event as, as, as Emperor that that was what you got to do, uh, yeah. but it, that wasn't on you, and uh, it was still it was still a great oh, yeah. part of the evening to, uh, to see you out and Good luck to you this year. The other thing that I have to say about that show was all star for me was Jesse Can Do It. I, if there was a business, Jesse is the best in the business as far as I'm concerned as the tip, the assistant tip collector. Um, just fluid and just uh, completely tries to stay out of the way and out of the scene and out of the screen. And when just about to get kicked in the head, manages to sidestep out of the way. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was fantastic. So, uh, yeah, I don't think Jesse gets enough credit for what Jesse does and really does add something to the show because, like, um, or helps out in such a way. So, thank you, Jesse. On Sunday, Kat Marlowe Menorah put on her birthday celebration, Thought About You. 
and it was a really fun show. Uh, she started it off with a opening monologue, which was basically roasting all of the people that were about to step onto the stage <laughs> to celebrate her birthday with yeah. her, and it was absolutely hilarious. I was very happy that you uh, managed to get that all recorded. Um, it was very, very funny. You definitely need to check that out on the YouTube. I'm not going to try to repeat any of the jokes, because, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Kat also banged it out in a couple of numbers, and she did Chandelier, and it was just beautiful to watch. And um, watching it, I was just like, Kat usually moves more than this. And I was, you know, it was, it was good, but I was just like, yeah. I'm used to a little bit more movement from her. At the end of the number, she announced that her zipper had gone down or split or something. Anyway, uh, she couldn't move <laughs> or she was going to reveal that her dress was open on the back. So anyway, that explained it. But yeah, it was, it was, it was still a great number and she looked absolutely fabulous. Um, she also did in her other number uh, that I labeled She's Just a Girl um, and it was like a powerful message, not heavy handed yet. It was just kind of like put out there, you know. Uh, girl empowerment, which I which I always enjoy. There was also some amazing performances that night from Chelsea Horrendous. She did Open Her Legs and yeah. World's Greatest, the World's Ugliest Woman. The World's Ugliest Woman. Which is one of our favorites. We just, <laughs> we love that number. Um, and I, I have to say this, that Chelsea looked absolutely stunning that stunning. night. Stunning. Her makeup was gorgeous. Like, it's, yeah. it's not a surprise that she's a previous Best Face winner for the stilettos. But, um, yeah, the makeup was on point, girl. And extra funny that for the second number, you smeared it all up by covering it in packing tape. <laughs> but, yeah, fabulous. Um, Lilith came out. Uh, her first number was a uh, special request by the birthday girl. She wanted oh, Lilith to nice. do her roller skating local bar number, which was fabulous. Um, and yeah, the crowd eats it up when she, you know, really it's one of her plays up how badly she can roller <laughs> skate and stuff like that. She's really not that bad. Um, spoiler alert. <laughs> the other one that she did was another original piece um, called Lilith. Uh, Lilith opens her box, I think is what I called it. Um, and yeah, it was yeah. dark, dark web. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was, it was, I don't know, you, I, I don't even want to talk about it. You just, you need to go watch it. Oh, Tiffany, it this fun. is your right, fun. <laughs> right, exactly. And, and no harm to Tiffany T. Valentine was... <laughs> <laughs> we think. We, we think. Haven't, we haven't heard from her for a while, but we, have, we believe it. We believe she's okay. Well, she does have shoes like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there was uh, another one there that you actually uh, wanted to talk about. Um, Ivy Lee. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Ivy. I love you. Um, yes, it was her. You can read my mind. Yes, because it's that number was about all the things that go on in your mind. Yeah, it was really cute. It was a neat concept. Uh, so yeah, congratulations to Ivy. Um, I also have to talk about one other performer from that night. Um, Davina is actually oh. apparently going on a semi-retirement and uh, she's not going to be performing for a while, just wants to take a step back, which I don't blame her. Yeah. Um, so uh, yeah, she did two great numbers and the one that really hit home for me was called Alive. Um, yes. The dress that she was yeah. wearing, she was just a, uh, a glitter bombshell. <laughs> a fabulous moving, fabulous just moving across the stage. So, uh, yeah, congratulations to Davina. Uh, yeah. It was such a good night. Um, quick shout out to Goblin Dix who did the number Girls Night Out. Unfortunately, that number was also blocked. So that was just for the few of us that got to see it live yeah. and in person. Um, but yeah, that was Thought About You. And that is all the videos that we have up this week on our channel. Yeah, there's only the two shows. This next weekend is yet another busy one with all kinds of shows uh, that you should think about checking out. Um, on Friday, Have Mercy presents A League of Her Own. It's the second installment of Ivy's new show. Um, this time she's got Kat Marlowe Menorah, Margaret Snatcher, and Creme Brulee are her guest stars. It's going to be a really good time, so definitely check that out. On Saturday, October the 6th, Battle of the Bitches! Jackie Beat, Sherry Vine, Drag Legends, 
it's going to be a fantastic show and you do not want to miss it. So uh, it is going to be uh, at Evolution Wonder Lounge. Tickets are like 13 bucks or something for the regular, like meet and greets a little more, but like the regular yeah. ones are cheap, cheap, cheap. So there's a few seats left, I think, so definitely grab on to those. Sunday, we're a little bit busier. Um, Spanksgiving is the special edition of the Sunday Review. Vanity Fair is hosting, and she has some of our absolute favorites from the ISCWR in her show, as usual. Uh, this time she's got Carried Away, Ivy League, and Tequila Mockingbird, so that's going to be fantastic. Yeah. Um, across town, Homicidal is presenting The Love Witch at the Garno Theatre. Um, the only people that I am aware of that are for sure involved are Lourdes the Mary Virgin and Lilith Fair. Um, but I'm assuming some other members of Homicidal will also be there. So, probably a fair bet. Probably a fair <laughs> bet. So, uh, yeah, definitely think about checking out that too uh, if you are not going to the Thanksgiving show. A couple other shows to look for coming up in the near future. October 21st, another family, family affair. Fair. The whole gang is back, and this time we have added our uh, dear new sister, Ivy League, to the show. So it's going to be a really good time. Uh, you should definitely think about checking that out. And I also just want to say this. On November 3rd, Quorum will officially be reached. Dun, dun, dun! What does that mean, I wonder? I wonder. Picks of the week. Picks of the week. I am picking Chelsea Horrendous, uh, the world's ugliest woman. Yay! Yay! It is so fabulous. Um, and uh, I actually had a bit of a hard time trying to decide. Part of me wanted to go with Lilith, part of me wanted to do Cat, and part of me wanted to do Davina. And I think I'm going to end up going with Davina. She's getting the edge, probably because she's retiring. Uh, but yeah, Davina Alive. I thought it was just fabulous, and it was just, it was classic Davina, and, and uh, yeah, it was great. Um, oh, good but yeah, choice. Yeah. yeah. There, it was, it was, yeah. Love you all. Anyway, uh, I think that is certainly enough from this guy, and this guy. I did so much yapping this episode. Yeah, you didn't shut the fuck up. It was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> uh, please, watch, like. Share, subscribe, do all those things. Thanks for watching. Bye.